What's going on, crew? You thought I forgot about you tonight. You know I wouldn't do that. I have yet to miss an Ask Matt, Monday through Friday. And it's still Friday, 10.14. We're good to go time frame. Bling's coming to join us right now. Yeah. Come on, come say hi. Hey, say hi to everybody. You say hi? Everybody say hi to Bling. All right, here's the deal. <clears throat> Gotten this question a lot. I get it a lot. Wrigley, you out there too? Come here. Question is, Matt, how do you keep up with, how do you learn, and close this door, how do you learn all the different social media platforms and try to keep up with everything that's going on? First answer to that question is I don't. I don't keep up. I Like, I try to, but believe me, there's so many things that you can do on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and YouTube and things that I don't know about or I don't know how to do as effective yet. But I'm learning every day and I'm trying to figure it out and... There's, it's so much stuff. I'm telling you guys, it's a, it's a full-time job just trying to keep up with the evolving social media platforms. It's crazy. However, when it does come to learning Snapchat and Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and Pinterest and all of these different things, where do you guys think I learn? Where do I learn how to do all of it? You know. Now, where do you think? Where you guys are right now, right? What up, Eddie? How are you? YouTube. You can learn all of it. All of it on YouTube. Ask the kids. You know what? The kids are really good at streaks and different stupid little things like that. When it comes to the business side, no. Everything I've learned on YouTube and Instagram and everything is on YouTube. And there is a crap ton of stuff. You will never, ever, 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 ever run out of stuff, okay? I will give you a little hint about it. You guys want a little hint as far as an easier way to search for stuff like this on YouTube? I'm going to give you a little hint as far as some things that I do that I think help when you're trying to keep up with the stuff on YouTube or whatever it is that you're looking for, okay? So, here's the deal. Let's just say I'm gonna flip my phone around here. And if I'm searching YouTube, okay? Showing us live right now and, okay? Here's a few of the main things that I do. Okay, let's say I'm searching um, Instagram for business. I'll go Instagram for business. Okay, and I'll search. And then what I'll also do is I'll come in here and you want to filter it. Okay, so when you filter it, you can filter by duration if you want something that's under four minutes or if you want something that's longer. You can filter by if you're by the video or whatever it is. Here's what I like to filter by. I've learned a lot of the different things, but one thing I always love to filter by is this month, okay? Because right now, when I just do a search in here, and I search Instagram for business, it's searching all of Instagram, okay? So what I'll normally do is I'll search, let's just say this month, and then again, and I'll come over to view count. All right? So with those filters, here's the reason why I like to do that is I'll normally find some pretty good videos. 
And the reason why I know that these videos are going to be pretty decent is it's videos within the last month or last week or whatever it is. And it's the most viewed ones in that time. So, obviously, if they're getting viewed a lot, then they probably have a pretty good following. And if they have a pretty good following, that means they probably have pretty good content. So, the main things I like to search by is the time frame. So, it's not because... Here's the thing with like an Instagram or a Snapchat or a Facebook or things like that. If you, you could get the best content out there that's from a year and a half ago, and it's outdated. Like, it's everything's completely changed th since then, right? So, when you're searching for to learn to do stuff on Instagram or the different social media platforms, honestly, I probably wouldn't go longer than, like, a three-month period. So, that's where chances are something's changed, and it's probably been updated since then. So... Definitely use your filters because they will they will help you a lot. Um, I mean, anything you... YouTube is absolutely insane, guys. Anything that you want to do. Okay, if I'm going to search um, rhinestone shirt. I'm just going to do a quick ser search for a rhinestone shirt. I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Now, keep in mind. This took, this took almost close to 10 years now to do this. So don't think this is going to happen overnight, okay? However, when I just search rhinestone shirt, the first video is mine. The second video is mine. The fourth video is mine. The fifth video is mine. The seventh video is ours. The eighth video is ours. The ninth video is ours. The tenth video is ours. The thirteenth video is ours. The fourteenth video is ours. So, but remember, this isn't going to happen overnight. Or like of the twenty-five videos that I've just come across, probably eighteen of them are ours. So when somebody searches rhinestone shirts. They're going to find the rhinestone world, and that's probably how you guys found this as well, right? So, here's something that's even more difficult. Watch this. If I come back here, I'm going to go to Google. And I'm going to search rhinestone shirt, okay? So, here's all of the rhinestone stuff here. And these are all the people that are paying Google in advertising. Well, if somebody wants to see a video, check that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the ten on the top page are our videos. That's just pretty lucky right there, right? And I'll, I'll tell you guys the truth. I've... I've never spent, I should, I should, but I've never spent a penny on advertising to, to increase my SEO and everything on Google. Because my videos have been around so long, it's what helps us so much. So when you think of YouTube, don't just think of you want to make videos to show people your stuff. It helps you everywhere. It helps you everywhere. It's pretty crazy. So, and I and I see some of you have started some YouTube channels. I love it. Okay? Then they're going to suck off the start. I love that too. And you aren't going to get a ton of views. I love that too. But just keep at it. And I promise, I promise it'll keep growing. Um, nope. What's that? Someone in a totally other video happened to mention you. Do I decide to go hunt TRW down? What happened, Pilar?
Someone in a video did what? Todd, are you opening this week? Are you opening the storefront side of it? So I'll give you a little hint of what, what I do is, is I actually, and this sounds stupid, right? I actually keep one of, I, I normally always sleep on one side and I keep one of my AirPods in and I just play YouTube videos. And I'm telling you, even though I'm sleeping, somehow I think, I think, I don't know, but I've told myself this, is like I retain some of that stuff when I'm sleeping. And I'm like, man, I remember hearing that somewhere or trying stuff and I just go to, I, I love sound when I go to sleep. So I just play YouTube videos in my ear all night long. <laughs> um, I'll show you a pretty cool channel. I'll show you a pretty cool YouTube channel, okay? A pretty cool YouTube channel. I guarantee you if I, if I search YouTube for, let's say, I'm just gonna search YouTube help. Let me see if some of his videos pull up here. So YouTube help. And there he is. So I just searched YouTube help and this guy right here, pretty good guy. I don't know him. I just wa I subscribe to his channel and I watch his videos. Nick Nimmin. So on his channel, his entire channel, his entire channel is about YouTube and how to set up your YouTube channel, how to create different things, 10 YouTube apps you need right now. Um, so any of you that are looking to start your YouTube channel, here's one. I'm not, I didn't see if Kelly's here, but how to use OBS Studio. So that's what I use, and that's what Kelly started using in some of her, uh, in some of her lives. Pretty cool, but really cool as far as he just, again, provides free content for all of you guys. Free content, and it's pretty awesome. So any of you that are looking to get into a YouTube channel, check him out. All right, what kind of questions you guys got? What did you say, Todd? I missed that, dang it. Um, only read off the bat. Off the bat, <laughs> pun intended. Um, oh, man, yeah. Ooh, yeah. How crazy is the insurance, Todd? Hopefully it's not too crazy. And what kind of machines are you getting, by the way? Are you getting iron mics? Are you putting machines in? Or are you just having them throw off the start? What do you got going? So I'm telling you, like you're on here right now, anything that you want to do. If I wanted to know how to get a stain out of my carpet right now, I would go to YouTube. If I wanted to know how to fix my door handle, I will go to YouTube. Like, like, here's a funny story, okay? The trade show. All right? On our bathroom, okay? On our bathroom, we, Lorraine, um, turned the faucet on in the bathroom and the, and the handle broke. Okay? And completely broke. She didn't know what to do. She couldn't turn on the water. So she gets the part and no clue how to do it. She calls a plumber. The plumber's gonna charge a $100 um, service call and then $150 an hour. I need to be a damn plumber. So $100 service call, 150 an hour. I told her to search YouTube. She searches YouTube, walked her through step by step. She was done in 15 minutes. I was pretty impressed. Just say two, two, YouTube just 
basically saved us $250. It's insane. Anything you want to do, basically, there's a video. When you create a website for a group sales, when you create a website for group sales, what service did you use to host? Um, Michael, I used Equid, E-C-W-I-D, and I created um, basically for each of the schools. For each of the schools, I created a page for them to place their orders. What else we got? Give me one second. I'm trying to look up something for you guys here real quick. By searching Cameo tutorials, awesome. Craziest thing. <clears throat> And I'll tell you guys why. Graph Tech Session, awesome, Eddie. I'm going to be doing more of those too with different cutters and presses and everything. Just to give you guys an idea. Do you know why? Who can guess why I started selling Silhouette Cameos? What would be your guess? Why do you think... I started silhouette, started selling the silhouette cameos. Your shopping cart is not available. But trying to buy Sean's webinar for March 1st, but shopping cart is not available. That is weird, Mary. I'm not sure on that one. I have not heard of that. Oh, get... Get used to that, Pilar. That's the way it works every time. <laughs> you'll get five huge orders, then you'll go two weeks with two small orders, and then you'll get three huge orders and so on. Here's the reason. Here's the reason why I started using selling silhouette cameos and started doing tutorials way back when. I never personally used a silhouette cameo on my finished product side of the business. Okay? And... Here's the reason, here's the reason why I did. When I started, obviously my YouTube channel way back when, to do, do research and said, okay, what different types of videos are being viewed, this and what that, and by far the hottest word or, or phrase or whatever to use for your videos or the videos that we did to get the most was Silhouette Cameo. So I honestly, I started carrying Silhouette Cameos just so it would help my YouTube channel, which in turn would help my customer base, which in turn, down the road, would help sales. So the one thing I always focus on is I don't focus, a, a lot of people will focus on I need sales right now, I need sales right now. I kind of do it the other way. I'm a lot more patient when it comes to it. And I say, what's going to happen? I want something that I'm doing right now that's going to generate sales five years down the road, but then keep generating sales. Hence, YouTube channels, right? Well, same thing with the Silhouette Cameo. How do I reach more people? Not quite as many people use a graph tech. Not quite as many people use a GCC Jaguar. So those videos never got as many views. But a Silhouette Cameo, you can go to Hobby Lobby and get one. You can go to Michael's and get one. Just every random person can just go buy one for 250 plus dollars and have one. And then as soon as they spend that 260, 270 dollars, now they need to learn how to use it. And there's millions, like millions of people out there that are using a Silhouette Cameo. Every one of them have to learn how to use it. Now I have millions of people that come watch the videos. 
If I would have just, I'm, I'm pretty positive that if I would have just done my YouTube channel on the cutters and the heat presses that I used and nothing else, and just stayed at the more professional level cutters and heat presses, I wouldn't be close to where I am today with the business. It's crazy. Um, Matt, hey Matt, shoot the questions here of course, but Matt, make sure to click the little bell. Um, I'll show you Matt, hold on. So, when you're on the channel, Matt, let me flip around here. What you need to do is make sure on the channel that you click the little bell, which I can't see it right now because I'm actually logged into the channel. So, let me go to the Rhinestone World channel and I'll be able to show you. It's clicked? What the heck? Oh! The next thing you need to do then, Matt, if you have it clicked, is make sure you're allowing the notifications on your phone. Because if you didn't allow the notif... So the, make sure the bell is clicked here. Okay? But if notifications on your phone, which normally bolts to no, then the notification won't come through. All right, what else we got? Yeah, so just go to YouTube on your phone for the YouTube app and turn on notifications. So if you just click that bell on your computer, it's just, that's just for your computer. It isn't necessarily gonna update you on your phone. What else we got? I got a couple minutes. I got a couple minutes. Hook me up. Give me some questions. I did. Did everybody see I did release the Flutter font? The Flutter Elements font? And I also, I also, like I told you, the price on that one changed, but the 65% off. Okay. And I made a video that I posted on you showing you how to use it. So check out the video and you'll see in the video kind of showing you how to use it it's pretty sweet i've made some pretty sweet designs with it already it just makes it so easy when the kind of tails built in there it just makes it so easy so easy yeah yes yeah, so i'm looking forward to it as well todd i don't know if you were on todd, you weren't on today were you the tails are sweet Will the cameo? Um, we'd have different breakout sessions, so we have cameo there. I mean, we'll, we do our cutting on the graph tech or the in house, but if you have different questions with the cameo and stuff, and during the different breakout sections, we can also show you stuff as well. QR just got Krell and the wizard. Congratulations! Oh, you know what we should do? Every time we get a new wizard or Krell user. Thanks, Joe. All right, what else we got? <laughs> Kyle. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> That's a Todd comment right there, Kyle. Anointed. Matt, I ordered my cutter and software. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm excited it'll be here tomorrow. Anointed. We're just gonna ring the bell every time we get some new uh wizard and, and wizard users that are part of the team now. I just downloaded it as well with Joe's help, Tanya. Hopefully Jackson's not asleep yet. <laughs> Have Joe on speed dial, that's awesome. What else we got? Matt, my dogs. 
<laughs> try to get you on the screen when they hear, oh, that's awesome, Scoob. I love that. You guys know how I am with dogs. So, at the Long Beach show, Scoob with her. And I'm a dog lover. Any dogs. That's my weak spot. How do you get the sign in to account page to stop popping up every time you open Corel Draw? Did you create an account already, Wilford? If you create an account, then you'll be signed. Try that off to start. Recommended pressure and blade depth for the flock on the cameo. Orlando, we have it in our um Orlando, go to go to YouTube and search Silhouette Cameo 3 Magic Flock. And I know Lisa did a video on it through it as well. But I'm not sure what the exact off the top of my head the Patrice Yeah baby. The dogs are downstairs going nuts. I can hear them. Um D3, yes, and but despise how to prefer the belt. Yeah, the belt I mean, the women always, opinion, customer base wise, is, yeah, you would rather hear ding, 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 ding. <laughs> um, next level and Bella's, they're just more comfortable. The guy, guy versions are. That said, thanks. Now, uh, I was asked by a friend, can you put something on this bag? Now I'm rethinking how I need to approach things. The bag melted somewhere between 315 and 350 degrees. <clears throat> That's a great question. You'll hear me say this a lot. Anytime, anytime I press something that I've never before, okay, always want to under press it. Under press it, okay? So, you're pressing Easy Weed, and Easy Weed's 305. Go to 285 for 10 seconds. I know that's not going to be your finished job, okay? But that's fine. Go to 285 for 10 seconds, and then see where it is from there. And then say, okay, it does. Normally, the bags, it has kind of a, um, what's the word, like a, not but depending on what type of bag it is, like a texture of the bag, right? So you'll know on that if that easy weed, it has got a base based off of seeing that texture on it. So always under press, because here's the thing, if you over press and you burn it, you're screwed. Under press and then just Okay, two seconds, I see wasn't enough. Okay, let me go another 10 seconds. Okay, that looks pretty good. Or, okay, I need to bump my pressure up maybe a tiny bit. That's awesome, Jason. I love to hear that. I'm tell I tell you guys this all the time, right? I tell you this all the time. I'm honest with you and... This this business, it's not easy. If it were easy, everybody would do it. Money. Believe me, I I see I see a crap ton of businesses that go out of business. Even with all of our videos and all everything that I share. But you know why? Because they think it's just and then they decide I'm not gonna go online. I'm just going to sell it out of my house on Facebook to my friends. You're going to run out of friends that are buying stuff from you all the time. So that's the thing is you have to put in the time for this business to be successful. And the part that's amazing is some people, it might take you a month. Some people six months some t people might take you a year some it might take you two years but you're gonna hit a spot as long as you grind and keep going that 
it just kind of starts snowballing. The coolest thing about this business is if you're creating quality products and customer service and take care of your customers, it's and it's almost impossible and obviously working and getting out there and hustling and doing it, it's almost impossible to fail. Every single business that I've seen fail hasn't put in the time and the effort needed. This is not, this is not a side job. This is not a just do house and just make some crap and throw it up on Facebook and it's going to sell a lot. Now, if you want to make an extra 50 bucks a month, cool. Then you can, you can do it for that. But this is not. I mean, I've told you, you don't have to get as crazy as I did. Every single second that I was not teaching in the school, I was either doing something with the family. Now, when I say doing something with the family, like doing something with the family is doing something around the house or playing in the yard. It wasn't going on vacations. It wasn't going and buying stuff. It wasn't going and doing this. It was saving every penny to invest back into the business. And then every second that wasn't family time was work time. And it paid off, obviously, over the course of 10 years, right? And you guys have seen my YouTube stuff. The YouTube stuff, it, it didn't take off. I mean, it took me a long time to get the YouTube stuff going. Either I need an oxide or a learning stress. Oh, stress, 100% plus stress is part of it, but you also need to have fun with it and don't be stressed about it. If you do what you can do and that's all you can do. Problem is they wanted a picture on it, so the inkjet print was the idea. Epic fail. The friend went and got the some eBay cheap stuff first, then asked me. And I do want to talk. Okay. So Matt, you're they're looking so you got a job that's looking for like a full color print. And you're looking at just kind of getting the inkjet transfers for now. Sub something out. Find a local direct-to-garment place or some. Obviously, you can't go get a screen print of a one-off. You have no chance of making money on that, right? We just got the rhinestone decal mini kit today, but was looking at rhinestone prices and wondered about the difference. What do you mean? What are you wondering about, Jeffrey? Let me know. What's up, Becky? How are you? Yeah, don't put the pressure on yours. I mean, I put pressure on myself every day. Every day I tell myself this, everything could end tomorrow. That's why I don't sleep. Because I don't want it to end tomorrow. Um, Jeffrey, you're only going to basically touch the Korean stones or the machine cut stones. The basic rind studs, Jeff, stay away from those. We carry them because we have some customers that still prefer to use them like on um, children's stuff because they have no lead. But the Korean rhinestones are the top grade Korean low lead rhinestones. And then the machine cut rhinestones on our site, those are your two main stones that you're gonna use. And look at the gross count, Jeffrey, cause you're gonna save a crap ton of money getting larger grosses. So if it's a color you know you're gonna use, don't get a 10 gross because you'll see a 25 gross or a 50 gross, how many more you get at the price. Sweet, Cassandra, that's awesome. Thanks, Kelly. What's up, Julio, how are you? All right, crew, 1040, I gotta get down there. I didn't make bed because he has a tournament tomorrow. He needs to get his sleep. I can't be having him tired, sucking it up on the field, right? Cubby's kick some butt today too. I crew, the element font 
Now remember, remember, if you Matt, Matt, post a picture on the Crafting with Rhinestones and Vinyl page. Matt, are you already on the Crafting with Rhinestones and Vinyl page? That's the page where you can post pictures and everything. And there may be someone out there on that page with 16 plus thousand people that have pressed those exact same bags. That's what's so awesome about that Facebook page. Have a good night, Jesse. Okay, Matt. Yeah, post it on there. Um, Becky, can I show what real quick? The Crafting with Rhinestones. And just, just on Facebook, search Crafting with Rhinestones and Vinyl. And it'll be the one hosted by the TRW crew. You'll be good to go. I crew. I got a new font that I'm working on. Got some new designs that I'm working on. I got a crap ton of stuff. I'm working on a new button for the wizard. We got a lot going on. So you guys all have an amazing night. I will see you. I'm sure I'll probably pop on sometime this weekend.